uh, a very interesting session today. We are talking about a full-on uh, large wine runner who is really, really strong and absolutely delighted to work. So you can tell that he's strongly into food. Well, thanks to the owners, they do a lot of homework with him. So he's going to spend about 12 days with us and we will just show you what and why we do the hand feed. Well, obviously starting with the normal boring follow me, this way and that way, and a little pivot. Good boy. So obviously I am making a point of using the bowl and it is main food. Main food meaning not treats. So this is Cooper's breakfast. Right, so now Cooper will follow that hand into various positions. Good. Postures and commands. So when there is a word attached to it, he is getting really, really clever with that twirl. So you don't always have to stretch out and do what beginner handlers would do with their dogs. Spin. Okay, spin. Nice. In. So you can see he's already beginning to anticipate and read those instructions really, really well. It's here. Cooper. There. Look. Good. Now, obviously, all the follow me exercises will result in a good and strong come. Good boy. Come. Good man. Good boy. Around. Good boy. Sort of coming into the heel position. Uh, certain commands like down and sit. Good boy. He's been doing quite a few stands and sit. Good. And stand. Nice. I uh, quite like his weight. Curtsies. Good. I like that. Very nice curtsy. Well done, puppy. But what's most important, he just stopped making his own decisions. If he feels that something can result in the reward, you've lost another one. He's in a big hurry, and that's the reason he misses out on some of those. That's it. Big. Nice. Four. Yes. And the other. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Stay. Down. And follow me in the down crawl position. And what took him the best part of four or five days is lying down flat. Good boy. And now how about flat the other way? Good boy. And this way again. Good man. Right, so we are teaching the flexibility, the compliance, so to speak. Right, I'm going through this food quite fast. Uh, so very briefly, on the top of the follow me exercises and different positions and movements, we teach the don't follow me exercises called stay. So pulling away from a dog will result in stay, rewarding, sit, stay, good boy. We do it in various positions obviously, stay, so if I was, stay, to disappear, stay. Down. Down. And clear a distance, duration and distractions. Well, it's supposed to do exactly the same thing. Cooper, stay, stay. Good boy. This is a really hard one for him. You can see he's so fast and powerful, so it does take quite a bit of resistance on my side be able to be everywhere fast and to pull this away from him. Now, the reason for it all, it's a good you know, game playing all these games in the garden, but where we actually will put it to practice is outside. We will take Cooper to busy road, now he, the rest of his food, and in, initially, I mean I wouldn't be just doing it half and half, I will do some meals in the house and then eventually when he becomes really good with it, I will be going out and doing this outside, but today we will just bring half of his meal, or about half, onto the street and you will see what we get if it works like that. I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, so here we go, the moment of truth. Now we are outside, so there will be some disruptions and disturbances, and we especially choose these roads with people, cars, noises, food. So, let's see what these follow me exercises, the one you've just seen, result in when it comes to walking your dog when you're outside. Yeah. This new work is gorgeous, isn't it? So, 
stay there, ignores everything else, and focuses on you. That's it. We've done this with the dogs passing by, people, stay there. Loads, children, this is what I absolutely love. Stay there. Good. Good boy, come. Good man. And sit. So you can see these pretty much the same response whether he's indoors or outside. Go first this way. Sit. Stay. Stay. So obviously I'm still going to try and prevent any accidents or any problems there. So the lead is pretty much held the whole time. Uh, now food stop once again. tell that it's paying off isn't it right so he has the eyes on you and this is the point of the hand feeding this is what the dog learns not so much how to stop doing this and that but how to develop the connection where the dog doesn't really have much to stop there so he just offers you the right behaviors in the right format so we still have a little bit of that feeding left and obviously when sessions go this well we just we can give it to him right away uh, you can tell that this has been a success and we are not really gaining much. We just repeat the same boring thing. Sit there, put back down. Good boy. So, a couple of simple practices. You good. Stay. Come. Good. 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 Sit. Nice. You and good boy. So, this is how we play the hand feeding game when we go outside with the hand head dogs. Right, well done little Cooper. I'll leave a couple of those to make it all the way back home. Oh, there are a few left still. And we're pretty much done with the session. Right, I will say my goodbyes. Uh, Cooper, kill.